Loved ones of Shalvanish and Rosalind Sharma are desperately waiting for what lies beneath the water. My mom is telling me every day, go get my daughter. Donald Singh believes his sister and brother-in-law are inside the tow truck that careened into the Sacramento River Tuesday after being rear-ended by a big rig. The married couple owns Justin's Towing and have two teenage children. They're still looking for their parents, you know, they're crying. The daughter, she's going to be 14 soon. Sacramento chaplain Mindy Russell's nonprofit touches upwards of 30,000 victims of trauma and crime each year. This is what we consider trauma grief. And the reason why it is, is all the different emotions that you have when you grieve a loss, but it's also traumatic as well because of the unknowns. Six days of uncertainty. The biggest thing is, is right now is to come to peace with right where they are, right where they are. And th I think that's the hardest thing is staying in the moment. Recovery efforts challenged by river currents for divers wearing gear to help brace the dangerous flows. They compared it to being holding on to a flagpole in a hurricane. That's how bad it is right now. Adding to the obstacles, a river depth of roughly 30 feet, coupled with zero visibility. You can't see. He can't see the hand in front of his face. So right now, he's pretty much just crawling and trying to find the vehicle with just touch right now. Sonar scanning beneath the river surface, drones monitoring by air, and divers blindly navigating forceful water as loved ones prepare for day seven, searching for closure. Very sad story. I couldn't believe it that I'm here. It's like somebody just did a pause button in our life. So it's basically everything is paused, you know. It's, it's, it's hard. It's really hard.